So one of the uses of um, binomial expansion is being able to multiply things out uh, very quickly and easily to a reasonable degree of accuracy. So let's say I wanted to work out 1.02 to the power of 7. Okay, and I wanted to do this by hand. As you could expect, this could take quite a long time, and it's quite liable to me making a calculation error, a numerical error. And it doesn't immediately look like a problem that we could solve using binomial expansion, but I'm going to show you how you could do it. Because 1.02, if you just think of that, you could write as 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power of 7. Okay? So if I split the 1.02 to 1 and the 0 0.02 part, then it almost looks like 1 plus x to the power of 7. And if you think back to, uh, I think, the second video in this section, of where we actually expanded 1 plus x to the power of 7, then I could use that expansion to my advantage here. Now, I'm not going to fully expand 1.02 to the power of 7, but I'm going to expand it to a reasonable degree of accuracy. Okay? So, how would this be? Well, if I expanded this, I would have 1 to the power of 7 plus, well, then the next term in Pascal's would be 7. So, 7 times 1 reduces in power, and the 0.02 increases in power plus 21 times 1 reducing in power and 0.02 increasing in power. And there's going to be several other terms to this. But I'm not going to worry too much about those. I just want it to a reasonable degree of accuracy. And this should give me that. So I've got 1 plus 7 times 0.02. So that's 0.14 plus, now here, I've got 21 times 0 0.02 squared. So 21 times, well, 0 0.02 squared will get me 0 0.0004. OK? And 21 times 0 0.0004 is 0 0.0004. 0.084. So if I add these three elements together, the 1, the 0.14, and the 0.0084, I get 1.1484. So to four decimal places, this is my expansion. Okay? So if I put this is approximately equal to, then that is a relatively good approximation, okay? So, if we try it on our calculator, 1.02 to the power of 7, you get 1.148, and then you get 685668, okay? So, this is reasonably good. It's not perfect, but if I had ex fully expanded it, uh, I would have got exactly the right answer. Because each term you're adding on a little bit more, okay, um, this isn't going to be perfect until you've added all of them together. Okay? Because I've only added on the first three terms. But if I'd added on a few more terms, this would have been even more accurate. Okay? And that's how we can approximate these things uh, using the binomial expansion.